It's 7, 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's what it says. And that's what? Now it says 7, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Good evening, how you doing? I'm phenomenal, thank you for asking. How about yourself? Troll man 215, how you doing? I'm just on here sharing a little goodies that I got for Christmas, you know, to inspire some folks possibly, maybe, potentially, you know, the mentally elevated way. So, I have a journal of motivation and encouragement. And I like it because it takes me back to, like, back in school when you used to, like, brainstorm and make pros and cons lists and, you know, like, outline, you know, what you want to do. Adulting right now, that's a real thing. Listen, that's what I'm sharing these adulting tools because when I was going through this, I was like, this reminds me of stuff when I was, you know, a child we had to do in school and it's now coming in handy as an adult. Like, yeah, getting organized because adulting be stressful if you ain't organized. So I am so grateful for this nice journal here to help me do that. I'm going to take notes. It got some you know, nice sayings and passages and messages, you know, to keep you motivated. Then it got some blank lines with some hearts, you know, to inspire some stuff. Yo, I'm going to use this. I am going to use this. Listen, I actually got this from my mama and I appreciate it. She know her daughter. Okay. I'm simple, but you know, tools like this come in very handy for me. So I got this one, but I also have this two year, okay, honey, two year calendar and planner, <laughs> two year calendar and planner. Do you know, I like the phones, you know, and I like the calendar on, you know, my website and everything, but I like to write stuff down too. And I like to touch, you know, cause what if the electronics don't work? And I can't remember what I had to do for that day or that week or that month or that year. So I'm going to actually use this and start writing down people's birthdays because I want to get better with that kind of stuff. <sighs> don't blame my heart. I mean, don't, you know, for the people that I'll be forgetting their birthdays. It's all love. I'll be forgetting my own birthday sometimes. That's why I really need this. Okay. So, yes, with that being said, two years, I'm going to get it together because this baby box to get written all up in. But then we got this one, this one, this is my journal here that I designed, you know, because, you know, I like blank lines. I like where you can just go in and let your mind be free. Hold on now. Let me slide down phone. Come on now. All right. So this is your attitude of gratitude journal, you know, when you wrap up a long day of adulting and you be like, yo, this day done woke my ass out, <laughs> okay? But I'm going to be grateful because I got things to be grateful for. And, you know, I want to maintain that attitude of gratitude. So this is the journal for it. It says your attitude of gratitude journal with experience black. And then you turn over the back and guess what's on the back? It says, make it make sense, baby. Make it make sense. Yeah, so I'm going to be using this. It's brand new, crisp. Don't even got no folds in the crease yet. I mean, y'all know what I'm talking about. But yeah, it's a hardback. You can get these at marissablack.com. Um, when you click on shop black or empressblack.com. All right. So, yeah, those are just a couple of my tools. And, you know, when I do these upcoming energy readings, you know, that's going to be available on the Empress Black Network. I'm going to advise, you know, or recommend that 
you have a journal. So my ring light broke, so that's why I got this, you know, ghetto situation with the phone keeps sliding right now, but it's all good. <laughs> I'm going to get another one. But with that being said, when we do, um, you know, what we're going to be doing on the Empress Black Network with my organized goddess, you know, my OGs, my organized gods and goddesses, we're going to need some journals, some good pens, some good pencils, you know, to get our organization thing on and popping. Okay. You ain't got to get the same ones I got. But get what you like, what's good for you. Or get it for somebody else. You know, some teenage girls that, you know, like to express themselves. Get them one of these and, you know, tell them to make it make sense. <laughs> With Empress Black at EmpressBlack.com. Okay. All right. I'm inspired to do a bonus reading right now for whatever reason. So I'm going to do that real quick. Can it help me to fix this garage door without being able to open it so I can actually drive my car? That's so funny. <laughs> That's so funny. I don't know if it's going to do all that. <laughs> but um, who knows? You might start writing and... An idea may come to you that didn't previously come to you as to how you could solve that potentially or connect with the person who can help you solve it. Something like that. Okay. Let me move this out the way real quick. All right. Instagram. So last night's reading, like I said, I was doing uh, in the 2022 career, finance, and love slash relationship reading. And I use my oldest deck here, the Rider Waite Tarot. But, you know, since we going into a new year and I got a new deck that got some new energy with it. Our mahogany tarot. Let's go ahead and get this one right. Get this one ready. To deliver us some beautiful, powerful, insightful messages for 2023. Because from what I'm hearing, we're going to definitely need them. According to earn your leisure and you know, rich dad, poor dad, you know, etc. <laughs> and all the beautiful people that they've been bringing on their podcasts, shows, you know, platforms, you know, community builds, just all the stuff that they've been working so diligently on and sharing you know this much needed powerful enlightening information so yeah I got a little uh, Spanish English dictionary. I done had this thing since like fourth grade. Mm, tribe. I opened up and I saw tribe. But yeah, let me put that there so it'll stop sliding down maybe. All right, there we go. Y'all, I have been really finding my little yoga breaks that I've been taking lately 
to have been so necessary <laughs> in the moments when I took them. Um, usually for upcoming situations or energy I will have to deal with. Like, I saw the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups just now. Yeah, like, humans, that's all I'm going to say. Humans be humaning. <laughs> and while they be doing all their human and they be really thinking they about to play with my emotions stress me out all that stuff I be like no I ain't going I might go for like five seconds and I turn around like nope <laughs> y'all ain't playing with me <laughs> I've had a whole damn episode today as a DJ. <laughs> but we ended off with Yolanda Adams Radio to balance it out. So I went and saved all of my decks and my crystals a couple days ago. And I most definitely feel lighter energy. I'm grateful for that. Okay. We got the King of Wands, the Tower, the Seven of Swords, the Six of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles, Temperance, Judgment, The Chariot, and the Seven of Wands on the bottom of the deck. with the Six of Swords. So, this reminds me of last night's layout almost, but slightly different. We had the King of Pentacles um, with the Ten of Pentacles, and we have the King of Wands in the same position with the Ten of Pentacles. So we have the King of Wands crowning the Ten of Pentacles, the Tower crowning Temperance, the Seven of Swords crowning Judgment, and the Six of Pentacles crowning the Chariot. The Seven of Wands and the Seven of Swords is someone has been very, I'm getting a warrior energy. They've been fighting some battles. Um. I'm hearing some 
more challenging than others. Some mental, some from other people sharing their opinions where they're not asked. I'm getting that with the judgment and, oh shit, and the emperor was underneath that. Oh shit, I didn't see that coming with the lovers. And something was telling me to keep going, so. They pulled 10 cards, so if I did, that would have been there. All right, so. This is gossip energy. Social media all day clout, chasing, energy. And being protective and guarded over people that are looking to, you know, <laughs> use your name for clout. I actually just saw something with Drake. Um, shared something basically about the young lady who claims um, he flew her out and had sex with her unprotected or something like that. And, you know, then kicked her out of his house. And he's basically saying that that never occurred. So I was saying in last night's reading, we're in this like exposing energy where, you know, who did that song? Um, not Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, do anything for clout. That's what I'm hearing, you know. People desperate, you know. People looking to get whatever little crumbs, you know, they can get from doing whatever little sneaky shit. I'm hearing, um, you know, fake social media accounts and people trying to use other people's names to scam people. Like IP addresses aren't traceable. Like every phone and computer doesn't have an IP address that's traceable. Just be careful with that type of energy them type of games That message was clear as day. And it's so crazy because this tower with this temperance um, is telling me that somebody has gone through that. <laughs> I can I can relate to some degree or another, you know, to this scenario. But I know this is bigger than me, you know, because there's people that I've been observing who have most definitely have, you know, robot accounts. And, you know, they've been jumping in my shit, you know, trying to, yeah, just not cool. All the way not cool. But, you know, the stuff that these Silicon Valley allow. Fortune, 
the Queen of Fire, the Ten of Water, the Page of Earth, the Six of Earth, the King of Water, Justice, and Rebirth. Yeah, this is most definitely in the Eight of Water. This is most definitely a continuation from yesterday's energy. Um, the Wheel of Fortune, you know, <laughs> this is so dope. This Emperor energy, because we most definitely have the Emperor here who's been fighting, you know, to protect what he loves, what he values. as an emperor is supposed to. Um, subsequently, we have the Wheel of Fortune, you know, with the Six of Pentacles, the Six of Earth. Um, this is some really good energy. This emperor is most definitely ready um I'm hearing to step into his calling. Step into his calling. Um, we got this temperance with the tower, the queen of fire and the king of water. This feels like there may have been karmic relationships that have been stopping a union. In other words, there have been um, people still connected with exes or... people that came into their life to teach them lessons about who they are and what they desire um, in life, in a relationship, you know, in a family dynamic. Because what I've learned when it comes to like soulmates, which is um, a form of a relationship, um, a relationship that is intense in nature and it's feeling nature because people feel two people feel like they've done this before because in most cases they have <laughs> if you believe in past lives you know but with that being said um Some connections are needed for us to learn, you know, the good, the bad, and the ugly about, you know, who we are, about how people are in the world, you know, the types of people that exist, um, the type of characteristics and traits and, you know, all of that stuff. So with this Queen of Fire, you know, and this king of water, I'm seeing this from a high vibrational and low vibrational sense where you have people that could be, you know, what people call narcissists. Everyone's using that word these days, you know, or just manipulative. Um, they want what they want and that's all that it, there is to it. They don't care about, you know, how others feel, you know, if at all, you know, it's definitely not going to be more than how they feel. Um, that's going to be a priority. So when you have those type of people, whether it's a man or a woman, um, a lot of times, you know, they come into your life to teach you how to love you better, how to um, set healthy boundaries, you know, how to um, decide, you know, what you're going to allow and what you're not going to allow you know, in a union, in a commitment, in a marriage, you know, in a relationship. So with that, you know, that's one perspective. But then 
on a good side, you know, people can teach you how to love better, how to be more affectionate, how to um, express yourself, you know, and express different love languages um, and finding out which love languages are most natural to you. I'm hearing that with the temperance. Um, The Ten of Water, the Ten of Cups, um, with the Judgment and Justice. This is telling me that where there were relationships that had an unhealthy foundation because they were founded on manipulation or control. Or with this Seven of Swords, I'm getting like um, distracting for sure. Energy draining. Um, energy vampires. It's not that people necessarily always want to steal something physical from you. They can try to steal your energy as well. And that's, you know, more dangerous because your energy is your health. It's your vitality. So in situations where you've had those type of relationships, um, judgment and justice are here with, you know, the Ten of Water to let you know that there is an opportunity for a rebirth here a renewal of, you know, your confidence, your belief in yourself, you know, you loving yourself. Um, and by doing that, being an example to show others how to do the same thing. I'm hearing and freeing them, starting with freeing their minds. I'm hearing in vogue, free your mind. Free your mind and the rest will follow. Yeah, that just, yeah. With this water, this tin of water with this judgment. If you're on Instagram and you want to see the different angle, um, I would encourage checking this out on the network at empressblack.com. And you'll be able to see the view in which I'm looking at this. But I'm most definitely seeing... um baptismal type of energy here in the renewing and the rebirth energy. Um, the chariot is telling me that if you found a religious group or a place of worship or, um, you know, something like that, a community that comes together um, for a common cause that is greater than you and it resonates with your heart and your soul, then, you know, join the chariot with the rebirth. The page of earth is, you know, you want to be connected to and give to situations that are reciprocative of your energy, of what you're giving, of what you're tithing, of what you're donating. That is important. Because we have the six of pentacles here twice. Yeah, there's definitely some stepping into your calling energy here. And before one can do that, they say there's no testimony without a test. So, you know, if this is someone 
who is here to teach about love, you know, <laughs> can't teach something you don't know nothing about, you know. So that comes with a little hurt, a little heartbreak, a little disappointment, you know, the need to heal, restore, recuperate, regroup, replenish, and depending on how broken your heart was, <laughs> you know, depends on how much work is needed. All right. That's so funny. And I picked up our chakra alignment deck and we have love here. It's going to message to close this out. We got 33 33 minutes and 28 seconds. Little fortune. All right, so we got life, purpose, and peace. Mm, I love this. Number 22 and number 31. With angels and masters, number 33 on the bottom of the deck. So with purpose and peace, I'm feeling like like I said, someone has been doing the work to prepare to walk in their calling. And that required for them to spend some time alone, spend some time going within and being absolutely 100%, 1000% sure about, you know, the essentials because we're not going to know 100,000% everything that you need to know. But the essentials of who you are and, you know, your purpose and, you know, what you need to do. Um, that's important if you're going to be in a higher level commitment, you know, um, a divine union, um, a marriage, a partnership that... You know, it's designed to withstand the test of time. You know, you have to be someone coming to the table, you know, knowing who they are and focused on maintaining your peace. <laughs> maintaining your peace. So that you can stay in alignment with your life purpose. Unfortunately, along the way, there will be, you know, a lot of stuff <laughs> that happens every day, you know, within our human experience that we can't allow to, you know, get the best of us or make us feel defeated or undeserving or depressed or, you know, I'm trying to find the right word I want to say for misfortune, like feeling unfortunate. Like we don't have to align with that type of energy. And I understand that the conditioning and the programming is real. It's been laid on thick, but, you know, we don't have to subscribe to that anymore. All right. So it is presently Friday, December 30th, 2022. Tomorrow's New Year's Eve. And, um... For whatever reason in my adult life, I've had some very interesting 
New Year's Eves that never went the way that they were supposed to. <laughs> Ever. And I'm talking about from starting in the morning to my work day to whatever is going on for that evening. And, you know, I ain't even stressing about it. I ain't even stressing about it. You know, I'm taking my behind the work tomorrow. I'm praying that everyone is safe in whatever they decide to do. Look at that. Look at that. The Ten of Cups with Three of Cups. So, oh, and we got the Ten of Water on the bottom of this deck right here. Staring me in my face. Mmm. That feels special, y'all. <laughs> This energy feel real special. So we're going to see what this New Year's has in store for us. Okay. All right. Till next time. Peace and love.